In these days of Elijah, our love must be stirred up. In these days of Shiloh, the understanding that love has never been conditional must come forth because in these days of the Latter-day Daniel, who I am, um, it is true that all people of the world have always wanted unconditional love divine, but very few people are willing to give it. So we must beat our sword into the sickle for the harvest of love and celebrate he that is the inspiration of the highest honor, the bestower of the same, and the embracer of all love. And now look unto the heavens and you can see his blaze of glory and the radiance of love and the fires of his never-ending passion now comes forth from he who is the absolution of uh, fear uh, because he, his love is perfect and uh, he gets rid of all not born of love. And because he alone is our rewarder of fearlessness and the destroyer of love's ignorance. Uh, for uh, it's time to celebrate our carpenter of the ages as our ageless poet of the eons and the innovator of love's greatest faith and the producer of the same because he is the finality, the final answer uh, and the living end of man's most insane inhumanity towards man. So praise the Lord, it's time that we come to realize that in all relationship uh, disputes of our most passionate heart of hearts, love is love evermore if it's pure. But if anyone loves someone who disputes their love, they must let them be spiritually freed. And if they come back to the one releasing them, only then is their oneness of loving hearts be able to to join together as one. But if they do not return, then uh, there's never been a real unity within love's perfection to begin with. So it's time that we all need to stand up and praise the Lord our God, who is from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be his glorious name, and may his love exalt uh, above all blessing and praise to your heart of hearts. For he alone is the Lord God of always, who made the heavens, even the highest heavens, and all the starry host, uh, and the earth that's and all that is on it, including the seas and all that is in them. Uh, so it's time that we all need to appreciate that he gave his life uh, unto everything and that multitudes of multitudes within heaven worship him day and night for his name is love. And he calls each of our names as if we were the only one. So love from love and hope from hope and peace from peace. And know that he is caused to dwell within all people of his love, his immortal life. And he has permitted all of his faithful few to proclaim the most uh, sweetest fruit of his everlasting peace. Because he is only desires to convert the lives of all those desiring to come unto him. For he is love who irresistibly desires to be irresistibly desired. And he is intending to lead all of those who are in captive unto freedom. So it's time that we all can take courage and become strong with his strength. Because he has captured the world and the captivity can become ours for the glory of the Most High and the God of our fathers. And all the Gentiles who had been dispersed uh, have now been gathered together for these days of Chrislam. For in these days of Elijah, Israel has inherited all mankind, exactly as Isaiah 54, 3 foretold. But uh, they have not been defiled for Christ's love for them because they had praised him in high places anyways without even knowing his name, but he is love. And in these days shall the 144,000 witnesses of the tribes of Israel they will shine because the traces of his brightest light of love have been set upon their hearts and they shall walk by the spirit according to the life of love and they are saved and they have become his people forever and ever. Hallelujah. And he has become the Lord God of all. 
And the, the Lord says to all people, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it again. I'll write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one will ever even need to be taught of me anymore, saith the Lord God, for all people of love, whose love is moving as a child. All people shall know me because I am love. So praise the Lord that it's time that our Lord of always is arising to become the good shepherd over all of his flocks, exactly as he foretold in John 10. For these are the days of Jeremiah 30, 24, that shall be considered in the latter days. It is written there, and this shall be considered in the latter days. The Lord is saying, I will return my terrifying anger. Stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart to arise in love and to arise in the brotherhood of love because he has joined us all together. And in these days of Elijah at the latter day, Daniel am I, his most glorious regal eagle of the eons is coming forth like pink on flamingos and like gold that will cover the hearts of all loving people of hope. For he is alone the, ab the abyss of love and the oblivion of all that is against against forgiveness. He is the oblivion of unforgiveness and the banisher of Iblis, Satan, Diablo, who was the father of lies. So evermore let all people arise and thank him evermore with a happy heart, for he is the benevolent, the charitable, and the endless sender of his everlasting love of flame. And as we look to the heavens, it's time that we come to realize uh, the truest truth has been that he has never forsaken us at all. We have at times forsaken him. But keep it in mind, people, we sometimes got to fake it till you make it. We can go two steps forward, one step back. But just to keep going in the right direction will keep you from ever committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting your love wax cold. So leave the land of the walking dead. If your love has just become a noun, it's just there. It's got to be as a little child moving again as a verb. So we must leave the land of the walking dead or else we are nothing but um, having a form of godliness but denying the power of love whom he is in us. For he alone is our most incredible living wonder. He is the spectacular impressiveness of love's greatest hopes and the most phenomenal Lord of all that is totally mind-blowing uh, by uh, through his silent whispers. And he is singing over each and every one of us in silence. For he is the most amazing eternal amazement that we've ever imagined and the most fascinating fascination and the most marvelous the most marvelous astonishment of always. So celebrate evermore. Let the jubilee of jubilees now begin as I close, because he is the dominant alpha, the deliver, deliberate omega, for he is the beginning and the end of all delusionary imaginations, which is covered over everyone as the gross darkness of Isaiah 60, so that he may arise to burn off the blinders off our Eyes, for these are days burning as an oven, and his truth will get rid of our spiritual cataract so we can shine as the stars that we've been fearfully and wonderfully made to be. So praise him evermore, people.